Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and um, good evening. This morning I was so uh, excited I forgot to record the live uh, class. So I'm going to redo it, uh, the video. So if there's some, uh, there's uh, some uh, minor difference. So if you feel different, that's normal. All right. First of all, I would, I would like to review a little bit about your assignment. Overall, writing part is always good. And um, pronunciation-wise, is in general, is very good too. Um, let's get to the writing part first. Yu, writing part is good. Yue is good. And Xing, you want to write this Yu part smaller. And the lower part is Sun, meaning life, meaning growing. This part should be bigger. Oh. Lower part should be bigger. You don't want to write like this. It's not stable. So lower part is always bigger. It's, it's, it's like this. Don't go like this. Right? This is, this is better, stable. This is not as stable as this one. Xing, you want to have this is dot, dian, one go, dian, this dot, the last dian should be outside this hook. You don't want to go like this. No, <laughs> should be go like this. Going like this, yeah, it's on, on top and a little bit outside of this little hook here. And the uh, pian pang. The radical of xin, dian, su, dian. This su, this vertical stroke, should be long enough. Ren, pian pang, pie, su. Okay, that's good uh, for the review of writing. Pronunciation wise, um, if you have, you feel uncomfortable or not really comfortable to pronounce Z, that's normal because you don't have that in English or in or in Hebrew. Uh, uh, could be uh, actually, yeah, I remember the Basi said uh, in, in in Polish you have Z. That's exactly you want to use it for R. Z, not R. You if you want to treat this thing. As you pronounce it in English, that's that's the wrong way. Okay. Yu, yu. Your tongue rolled up a little bit. Yu, yu. Follow me in the fourth tone. Yu, yu. Yu, yu. Yu, yu. Why you yu 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 yu? This is the moon. Xing. This one, xing, you want to, inside of your mouth, you want to open up a little bit inside of your mouth and your air, your breath going up. Xing, like ding, 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 ding. You know, uh, when I have a party, when we have a party, we, you know, the, the host take a, a big glass, ding, 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 and everybody, you know, quiet, right? You think about that. Ding, 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 Open up a little bit inside your mouth, but for heart, you want to mm, your your air, your breath air push to the front. Xing, 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 xing. Both go through the nose, but this one going in the middle, and the air uh, breath push upper, put to the up. But the seeing heart going to the front. Listen, I'm going to do it one more time. Xing, xing. You can follow me. Xing or xing, 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 xing. You just think about the twinkle, 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 twing, ing, 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 xing, twinkle, twinkle, little star, twing, ing. 
啊，有什么 inside？ 心，心 more front， 心，日月星星 ，this is human or man， human being， 人，日，那个日，这是日日，嗯，人 ，second term， 人 ，this is the 偏旁。The radical of Ren. Any character later on, we will learn more character with this pianpan means something related to human being. Any character with this pianpan, with this radical, with pianpan, p i a n, pan, p a n g. Second term, it's called pianpan. Pian means not in the middle. Pan means is on the side. So it's always written on the side. Usually, it's written on the left side of the character. Any character with this pian pan means something related to your heart, related to emotion, related to spirit. You relate to sentiment, or this concept with this pian pan. Okay, that's a review for、uh, from last class and all your your assignment. I have all comments written. I give you actually the score in your written part,、uh, and also your pronunciation. I、uh, when I, when I have your contact number on the signal, I I, I send that、uh, voice message、uh, to、uh, to to give you my、uh, feedback. Okay, I have、uh, also the comments. You can go back to the Google Drive, click your own file. You 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 can see. Uh, but one thing is, if you, I don't know if you,、uh, your computer can show the Chinese font. If cannot, you may see different.、Uh, you, you you cannot see the character. But I I write in English. I say, for example, Xing said, the upper part of Ri should be、uh, smaller than the lower part. Pronounce Sheng. The lower part of Sheng should be bigger. When I say the upper part, lower part, I read, I I wrote in in English, but I also show their character there. If your computer cannot show the Chinese font, then you won't see the this thing there. But you can see the Chinese in English. So combine com combine with what I'm trying to say now, then you understand what my comments are. And、uh, some of your computer can. Prompt say okay. This character is not recognized by the computer, but I'm asking you to download the the Chinese font from uh, uh, Microsoft or whatever or, or Apple, Apple, whatever the、uh, authorized、uh, site. You may go ahead download it. You if you feel you are not comfortable with the、uh, security, just ignore it. Okay.、Um, That's basically. If you cannot recognize that、uh, that part, Chinese font part, that's what happened. Okay. Now let's move to today's、uh, lesson. Let's review the、uh, sent first sentence we learned in in the New Year, the first day. 新年好，新年好 ，Have a good New Year. 新 means new, 年 means year, 好 means good. Oh, 新年快乐 ！Happy New Year. 新新年快乐 You want to uh, practice uh, this as as much as you can, and, and you memorize how to say it. You don't need to re remember how to write it, but you know how to say. Have a good New Year. 新年好，好。啊、uh, ，新年快乐 ！OK， 呃、uh, we'll、，review next time、we'll、review this again until remember. OK， 呃、uh, ，keep practicing. We learn 日月星星 last time. As your assignment, I said you don't need to do this, but some of you did this, which is good because you have different background. If you better background, you learn Chinese before you know something. How to write and go ahead and practice this, but we're we're going to do、uh, learn this today. 人人
Pian Pang, remember? Pian Pang, okay. Um, this is what we want to learn uh, this uh, today. Uh, okay, how? We will learn uh, four characters. Tian means sky or heaven. Physically sky, invisible heaven. It's the same thing, just different layer of meaning, connotation. Tian, the first tone. Tian, tu, tu, tian, tian. Follow me. Tian, tian, earth, land or earth, d or ground. Same meaning. D, fourth tone. D, now, this is the tone. If you know how to you try to just mimic, follow the pronunciation as I'm teaching, pay less attention to the pinyin. As long as you know in your ear, in your mouth, how to pronounce it, try to memorize it, and connect that pronunciation and the sound, that tone with the character and the meaning, pay less and less attention to pinyin. The way I introduce, introduce pinging to you guys, or you, you learned something before, is for you to, uh, to check the word in the uh, dictionary. And when you forget, you, 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 you have something to, to, to work on. But it's better to learn just mimic, just follow. Try to mimic it in your mouth and in your ear. Listen to it. That's the very best capability everybody Bonus is a gift, but when people grow up, you forget. You forget, and you learn all kinds of concept or knowledge to manage what you learn. Actually, that that's a slower way. Mimic it is quicker. That's how kid, little boy, little girls, learning faster because they just mimic. They don't have all those kind of concept how to learn, what to learn, and how to do it. Yeah, we, we we're gonna explain in in that way, but. Uh, I encourage you to open up with your your original ability. You forget it for so many years. Okay, just try to mimic, listen to it, hear the voice, and mimic in your mouth and connect in your mind the the, the character as a picture. When we write it stroke by stroke, but uh, when you recognize it, recognize the whole thing, the whole picture, whole picture. As a picture, as an image, and also the meaning. Tian, 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 D, D, four song, remember? You forget? Oh, D, D. The second tone, Ren, that's human or man. Human, Ren, 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 the radical here, written like this, Yi Pie, Yi Su. And since we have D, the radical here is uh, the pronunciation is a tu, third tone. This is a, this is a tone. I want you you focus on the tone, not the pinyin. So you focus on pronouncing in your ear and your mouth, not not looking at this thing. If you look at, try to just uh, minimize and focus on tone. This is tone production. Tone is not part of a character. It's just a tone sign. Four, four, one, one, right? Tu means land, also can mean land, but most of, uh, in general, mo in general mo uh, meanings land, or by the most of the time you use the soil, wet, or dust, which is dry, the dust thing, or dirt. Dirt is also, could be wet or dry, right? Uh, that's tu. Christian uh, legend or uh, Chinese ancient legend said uh, the divine being a god or divine being a new uh, uh, created human by using tool, that's the tool, soil or dust uh, or dirt, soil or dust, using out of the dust making human, the first, uh, that, that legend, okay, you all know about this. If you don't, then you know now, okay. Tool. Third tone, tu, uh, tu, but the pian pang, the radical, written like this. The last stroke, hen, become a t. It is pian pang pronounced P-I-N, pian, 
first tone, pang, second tone, pian pang. We are going to learn a lot of pian pang. Xing has pian pang, tu has pian pang, uh, water has pian pang, uh, wood, tree has pian pang, uh, metal has pian pang. When we combine all this thing, you, you're going to learn like rolling and snowball faster, more and more character, meaning and pronunciation together, okay? This, well, this is what we learned today. Tian, tian, di, di, ren, ren. Remember this thing together. This is pian pang. Tu, tu. This is a pian pang for tu. Okay, this is the four character. Si ge zi, four. Remember si, right? Si ge zi. You don't need to remember this two word. Si, you learn it already. Si, si ge zi means uh, character. Zi, ge zi. I'm going to speak more and more Chinese. You get used to it, okay? Si ge zi. Na si ge zi? Which si ge zi? Tian di. Ren tu plus pian pang form, radical form. Okay, here is the uh, uh, how the uh, the 四个字 we learned today. 今天 today, the 四个字 we learned today. Uh, let's go get, get to the human uh, human first. Ren first. First tone. Then, so, it's a symbolizing like gesture of a human. Very humble. You know, very humble. Right? Now, uh, and then later on, human become more and more proud, more and more ignorance. They become like this. That's the pian pang. So that's how it's pian. It's not right in the middle. It's not in the middle. It's on the side. It's like, from here, like this, all right? <laughs> okay, uh, you get the you get the picture in your mind. The originally, actually, you know, the, this man standing. This is the head. This is the head. This is the arm. This is the back, and this is the legs. To face in the left. Facing the left. Originally, this only means man. Male. So what is a female or woman? Should be like this. But later on it changed, evolved throughout the history. But they are the same form, it's like mirror, right? It's like a mirror. This is a ren, human being or man. In general, just any person or person. Very humble. So, then we get to the, uh, this character, Tian. You take this part, the lower part. It's like this. You can actually dissect this whole character to two. On the left side, it's like this. On the right side is actually like this. When you combine them together, it's going to be like merged. This is head, body, leg. This is another character called Da. 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 Big, great, immense, large. How can people, human, human is ir 
living in between the sky and earth or heaven and earth. You have the human is smallest one compared with heaven or sky compared with the, the ground, the, the earth. And there's only one chance on, 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 one, con, on one circumstance a human could be think as big is, is a combine of, is a balanced human being. Yin and yang, yang side and yin side, balanced. It is called da. That's the very, very, very superficial meaning of da. It's also man. It's a great man, a big man. A man can stand in proudly between the heaven and earth or the sky and earth. S standing straight. So now, here is a, a meaning of the Tian. You see this part? There's always a piece of substance, always over the head of this balanced, good, great human being. The emphasis is here. Now, later on, the character evolved to be like one stroke. Re remember, we talked about one stroke means number one and also means what? Tao. Tao means principle. Means, means divine or higher beings above. So, Tian, the superficial, most superficial meaning of this character is there's always a principle or a higher being above you, or Tao, or principle above you to guide you, to take care of you, to discipline you. That's the meaning of Tian. So, no matter where you go, no matter how proud you are, so balanced, so good, you still have a Tao, a principle, or a higher being overlook you, take care of you, and discipline you. That's the meaning of a Tian. So, if you go higher, it's the higher beings, or a Tao, or you call it the Buddha, or you call it the God, or at least the minimum. The right principle, the right principle on the horizontal level, is even, it's equal, it's balanced. That principle, at least, that the minimum, right? Or different layers of, of, of connotation. That's the meaning of Tian. Okay, so far so good, right? Okay. Then D, the left side part, the left Tian uh, uh, means the slope of the earth. D basically is a picture of, um, of land. Some part is up and down, up and down higher. You know, you have a rock, you have a slope. That, that's this Pian Pan part. The right part means the valley or lower part. So there's, there's a ground is a plain, but uh, most of the um, surface of the earth, of the land is up and down. You have mountain, you have a rock, you have, you can have valley, you have a lower part. So that's the basic meaning of a part. This is yang side. This is the yin side. You see? Valley. Okay? This is pointing up and this is pointing down. They uh, evolved to like this. So the radical, we talked about this, this tool, right? Two, third term, right? Uh, dust or dirt or soil or land. Basic meaning of this is land. Also can be land to this too. But this is more focused on the soil, dust or dirt. This uh, focus on the ground and the plain. Okay, that's the D. Tian D. Ren in the middle. Remember we talked about this. Uh, character San, this is Tian, this is D, the middle is a Ren, this is, right, we will say that this is more stable, so that's how we rewrite re it like this. Okay, fourth character, Xin, we can at least explain this Xin to two layers of meaning. Let me take this out. The first, this most superficial, this heart looks like a heart, 
that's how you you see the society people drive like this hard, like mm, like this hard, right? And you have a different chamber or rooms inside your heart. There's a door between left and right. You have different rooms in your heart. Uh, that's the the first super, superficial uh, meaning of uh, this character. It's a picture. But the getting deeper or higher, whatever you think, whatever you take it, is a two little bean. Look at look at here. This is a head. This is a body, and this is a leg. Head, body, leg. Here is more clear. This is a head. This is a neck. The back, and this is a hand, and the lower part is the leg. The head on the side. Neck. The turning point is neck, right? Yeah, this is the neck, and the back. Hand. Leg. You know the the ancient in the in the in the east in China we used to do this or do this. You know your hand is always up. In the Western Western world, traditionally, you do this, or you do this, right? Or you do this. Hand always up, so that's how the hand is here. So you have hard means you have two at least balanced, young side inside balanced two spirit or soul or little beings. Inside your heart, your organ of the heart, the heart, the organ part actually is just a chamber, a room for your, for the for the little beings. That's in Chinese ancient Chinese connotation. That's the, that's the, that's the higher or inner or deeper meaning of this character, heart. Okay. Emotional part. So then. Uh, we all have had the experience, especially for for adults. When you get into a something or in a situation, your mind, your head is telling me one thing, and your heart is telling you another thing. <laughs> right? You want to balance it, but the both can live here. That's uh, according to the ancient Chinese uh, 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 culture connotation. So that's how. You want to change your heart, change your, the way you know, of your thinking. Okay, it's a balance. Uh, anyway, the heart, a good heart, a healthy heart is a balanced. Bright side, dark side, angel side, devil side, no matter what you call it, the, or yin side, yang side or yin side need to be balanced. And you should be led, you should be led by the bright side. So that's how the left side. Is bigger, longer. See, see, and this part is this. Okay. Uh, that's all for these four characters. Okay. Uh, that's all for today. Uh, now here is your sign for today. You want to write, and remember whenever you write, you pronounce it at the same time. This one is mandated for this time now. Last time is for optional, but this this time you want to read this. Xin, ren, ren, or ren, and tian, ti, di. Okay, you want to write this all these characters until you remember how to do it without looking at the at the template. You want to do it by your heart. All the character you want to try that. Okay, and then you want to、uh, read loud the sentences we just learned. 新年好，新年快乐。Then I give you another sentence from last period and this period. 日月星，天地人 Yeah, it's a 
actually is a kind of little poem. Uh, the, the young kids are like five, six, year, seven years old. The little pupils when they get into a, the, the school, the, the first semester or the first couple of weeks, they want to learn how to speak. It's all balanced, you see? Yang, yin, yang, yin. This is in the middle, this is in the middle. So that's how it's smaller, but it's a lot. Because the human has a lot of heart. <laughs> you have all kinds of hearts, all kinds of emotion, all kinds of emotion. It's come together. There's one person here, as a star over there. What's the connection between the Ren uh, and the Xing? Xing, Xing, sorry, Xing. What is the connection between them? That's the Xing. The spirit. Your spirit can travel from that star to this earth. That's according to the ancient Chinese connotation. Okay. They all come from far away. One person, one star. What can trans, trans, travel on the spirit, on the Xin? Because he, the, the, the physical body cannot do it. Okay. Practice read aloud until you remember how to say it. Xin Nian Hao, you just uh, say this to Chinese. Uh, people you know, or you share with your uh, um, uh, fellow Americans. Okay, I learned a Chinese uh, sentence. Okay, uh, Happy New Year. Uh, That's Happy New Year. Have a good New Year. It means uh, You remember the, this first, the, the sentence we learned from these two periods. Okay, mm, that's the assignment for. Um, this period. Uh, don't forget, uh, you, when you get a chance, always just try to use the uh, first 10 uh, characters, yi, dao, shi, practice your tone production. You want to really establish four tones in your mind, no matter what you pronounce. Like, like uh, we said, like, me, 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 me. like, mm, yeah, really? Oh, for single vowel pronunciation in your mother tongue. In English, in Polish, or Jewish, or Hebrew, you want, you, want to, you want to pick up a single vowel pronunciation of your word. Practice this four tones. Okay, that's really critical. You want to really establish this pattern, this sound pattern in your mind. There's only four tones in Chinese, and tone, different tone has different meaning. Like we said, like this one is plain, feels like a fog. Uh, this one, uh? You, you got my attention. Uh? Yeah? Really? And it actually has two meanings. Uh, close. Like, 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 what? Means I or me or me. You close one ni he or she is cough ta is far away. So that's the first term. And the a third term has another meaning is the meaning changed. Uh, you see the changed direction. From here to here, then go back. Uh, Change direction. This one is strong. Uh. Right? Chi, go, go, go. Then far away, push it away. Now, so that's the basic, 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 uh, vague, kind of vague, but uh, has, a, has, a, has a meaning into of the tones. Plain, not too close, not too passionate, but not too, not cold. Uh. Right? Yeah, you got my attention. Uh, close, but uh, something happening. There's something, direction changing inside. Uh, push it away. Okay. Uh, when people are angry, they use this tone. When people are close, use this tone. Or uh, uh, something inside the motion change, use this tone. Into this uh, live class, Jackson, Jack. He asked about um, how to say 
that in Chinese. In Chinese, there's two. Uh, let me let me write it on the three way. The the very formal way is called a fu. F U, fourth tone. It's actually evolved from here. It's a stick holding by a hand. This is the hand. This single this symbolizes fingers and the palm. Holding the stick, so father is always the person in the family who discipline everybody, or making orders. And so this part transformed to like this. This part, lower part, transformed like this. You, you see the, the the cross, transformed to a cross. Or another more. This is more form formal. Like written very formal, in in daily life, it's the same fool, but add another single character here. Pronounce as ba, but usually we 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 double it. We say baba, baba, mama means mom. Like mom is mom is every almost every all kind of nation, all nations, all people say. Mother, like mom, mom, mama. In Chinese, go to mama.、Uh, the father is baba. Or the third way, more close to dad or daddy. It's called the die. It's still fu here. Then you have another character means do. This lower part give contribute mainly the pronunciation. The higher part contribute mainly the meaning. The meaning is here, right? Serious, disciplined, strong. You can always, you know, rely on. He discipline you, and you can rely on him. <laughs> That's the way to understand. So, how to pronounce this? It's got a D. First tone. Like dad, daddy, D, D, D. We usually in 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 daily life we use we 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 double the character, daddy or papa. Okay.、Uh, or some、uh, ethnic group in China they pronounce this as papa. And pa, papa, mama, baba, daddy. Then in the, in the, in Taiwan. In Taiwan. They they say the papa and it's going the third tone the second the second repeating the papa mama and brother gege little brother didi sister cheje younger sister meme that's actually very close so so I just showed you third tone has a, coming with the connotation meaning of close. But also, change. You know, the, in 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 the family or friends could be very close, but you hurt her or you hurt him or hurt, you turn out the other way around. So that's the direction changed,、mm -hmm. right? So it's a balance. Remember, it's yin and yang balance. Okay, this for making up of the、uh, the, the、uh, Q and A、uh, in in the live uh, uh, lecture today. Remember your.、Uh, remember your、uh, assignment here, okay? Or your assignment here, to to do it. 天地人心 and two. Elizabeth is going to deliver a pronunciation and writing short video for you guys too, and I'll practice read loud. 新年好，新年快乐，日月星，天地人，日月星，天地人。Memorize how to pronounce it. You write, you write this too. But this one just to how to say it. That will be speaking good enough. You don't need to write it. 
you need to write and practice this. Write it by memorizing it. Okay. Um, next period, I I may just give you this uh, character, and we spend a little bit more time to review <clears throat> this period and the last period, and maybe give a little bit more time for Q and A. Then we move on. Okay. Thank you very much, and see you next Saturday.